Award and a Chief of Filipino Soul Magazine, aka SGIB Magazine, stand for Soldiers Got Intentions. Believe that, because everyone should be soldiers with something. A dream, a goal, an idea, a trend, or something. And on a PVG's production, the stand for photos by Gerard, the best in freelance publicity photography. But right now, I'm in Dumaguete. There's a story how I ended up in, in Dumaguete, and I want you to kind of follow the train of thought. You know, uh, they told me that Dumaguete was a place where there are a lot of expat members. Expat stands for expatriates, which means a lot of Americans, it's the same place, safe part to be in the Philippines. And so, um, and coming here, I didn't know exactly who to ask to find a realtor. So, of course, looking for something American, I came across this place, and this place is named Bogart. Everybody knows who Bogart is. A uh, Humphrey Bogart was in, uh, he's a very famous American actor, a very famous American actor who, uh, uh, he's been in a lot of movies. Uh, uh, the Treasure, Sierra Madre, uh, he's been in, um, uh, what's that one with um, Casablanca? He's been in a number of movies. He's one of our uh, veteran actors. So of course, my looking for something American, when I saw Bogart, I said, well, let me stop it here and, and talk to the owner. This doesn't get any more American than that. So um, in a minute, I'm gonna bring the owner out and we're gonna to talk to the owner about Bogart. So he gave me the name of a realtor. The realtor gave me, uh, 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 showed me a couple of locations and that's how I ended up here. And because I am a loyal person, especially in businesses and what have you, I always seem to just stay and go to one type or patronize one type of business. Even 7-Elevens. When I was in Cebu, there was only one 7-Eleven I would go to. Well, same thing like here in Dumaguete, this is only like the only watering hole I would go to. Of course, there's an after-hour place called Why Not, but Bogart seems to be, you know, the place that I always stop at. Now, uh, normally I have an artist perform with me at the, at the beginning of each month, but unfortunately due to creative differences, uh, she's not going to be able to form. You know, Ellen Bayou, she was a, a public relations Filipino Soul Magazine, uh, 2016 Daily Showtime winner. And um, so um, uh, we're not having her perform tonight, or having anyone perform tonight, but that doesn't mean that I don't have a surprise and a treat for you. You know, uh, here, one thing about being in the Philippines that I enjoy more than anything else is helping people. And because the American dollar goes so far here in the Philippines, it takes so little to really make a difference in someone's life. I've showed you videos of my giving away cell phones or, or you know, you know, my buying, you know, a, a child may come with a whole string full of, of, of uh, um, uh, peanuts. And so I just buy all those peanuts. But they may come with a whole bunch of bananas. And what I do is I buy their all bananas. Hopefully that uh, for the rest of the evening they will go home and just kind of take the night off. Which is probably very unlikely because whoever's handling them are probably giving them more and send them back out. Well here, you know, often time, you know, people are always come up, you know, they're having problems, you know, or need money or what have you. So what I decided to do, because I love these girls here, who work and take care of me here at Bogarts, what Filipino Soul Magazine is going to do tonight is that we're going to have a raffle for them. And with that raffle, we're going to give them 5,000 pesos. So stick with me and hang in there. Right now, I'm going to bring out Andy, the owner. He's going to talk to you a little bit about, about Bogart, and we'll take it from there. So remember, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll be right back with Andy, the owner. Peace. Okay. Okay. Right now, I want to introduce you to Andy. This is Andy, the owner of Bogart. Andy, tell us where you're from. Austria. Austria. Small city, Innsbruck. Okay. You have to speak a little louder. Uh, Innsbruck. Okay. And how did you end up here in the, in the Philippines? Uh, I was here three times for vacation. In my second vacation, I meet my um, girlfriend. Okay. So I follow the heart. Oh, you follow, you follow the heart, huh? So how did you end up own, uh, owning a bar? This is your bar. This is this is this is your little uh, uh, getaway. Uh, it happened three days after arriving in the Philippines, so I transferred here. Mm -hmm. 
der Rudolf Bogatz war mein Freund von Casablanca, der zweite Name. Okay. Bogatz, Humphrey Bogatz. Ja, ja. Äh, äh, I was just talking to, uh, talking to my viewers about the Humphrey Bogart, the actor, and the movie that he played in Casablanca. He's speaking of another restaurant called Casablanca, which is on the next block. So go ahead. Correct. And uh, he and the other Austrian, he was doing this bar, and um, they were not interested anymore. Right. So I bought it. Okay. Okay. Well, tell us what Casablanca is. I mean, tell us, you know, what type. You have a lot of foreigners come here, a lot of Americans come here. It's an expat bar. Um, an expatriate. I explained to you what an expatriate was. Expats. Expat. Uh, expat. Ex expats. Yeah. Expat. Expat stands for expatriate. Okay. Yeah. yeah so. All right. Uh, and it's not only American. It's many Swiss people, yeah. German, some Austrians, many Scandinavians are also here. Mostly retired people. Okay. Okay. Um, since you're married to a Filipina. I can oh, oh, you're not married? Sorry, sorry. Since, you, since you have a Filipino girlfriend, uh, could you describe the difference between a Filipino girl and say a girl from where you're from in Austria or is there a difference? Uh, the biggest difference is that in Europe most girls want to be same the men. So and here the women are let's say a little bit below. So they listen more to Submissive us. Version. Yeah, okay. And in Europe, most many girls are high nose and they are only running behind high salaries. And it's easier here. Mm -hmm. Everything, not only with the girls, also. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, have did you look at any other Asian country or uh, no. Philippine? Uh, Philippines was where you wanted to be. My friends came here before me. Mm -hmm. They bring me to the Philippines, so I don't know any other Asian country. So we come from Austria directly to the Philippines. Okay. Uh, since I'm living here, I was one time in Malaysia. Okay. But I have no other Asian country experience. Okay. Um. What? What? experience or what type of qualifications does an individual has to have owning a business in the Philippines or owning a bar business? I mean you know, I know you just didn't wake up one day and say I'm gonna run a bar, you know, you know what you know what what's your background? What's your educational background? Uh, I mean I am a electronic engineer, electronic and high frequency engineer, but I was always a hobby chef. You know, I was cooking a lot for my friends in Austria. Okay. For my family and it was always my small dream to have a small own bar wow. and restaurant. But it was, if you have not the education for this, you can't open like this in Austria. You, you need a special okay. school. Oh, okay. Uh, so it happened what I always want to do, I can do now here. Okay. Of course, you need to run a business, you need somebody, you need a Filipina. Right. It's, I'm not allowed. Yeah, yes, yeah. The laws are kind of strange. Uh, you can foreigner <coughs> can buy a house, but they can't buy the land. So yeah. uh, there, you know, you definitely have to be married or or have a Filipino involved in whatever major transaction like that. What's right. going on? You mentioned dreams. The name of my magazine is Filipino Soul, and I have a program called Dreams Are Nothing More Than Plans and Waiting Action. What advice would you give someone about following their dreams and their goals? You were following yours. You wanted to own a bar or something like this. What advice would you give someone? Uh, just do what you want to do. You know, if if I would not follow my heart, I would still sit in Austria and do my normal job. And I had a great life there. Uh -huh. But I turned 360 degrees around and changed my life from zero kids to four kids now. You know? Wow. Okay. Okay. So my, seven kids? No. No. I have zero. I have. Several kids in okay, Austria, okay, okay. but my uh, girlfriend she has four kids. Okay, so okay. I took a family over this. Okay. Cool. Uh, four kids. Okay. Do you live in Dumaguete or, or? I live in Dumaguete. Yeah, it's just close here, like 15 minutes. So, so let's talk about Dumaguete. So, tell us about Dumaguete. If you were, if you were to describe Dumaguete to somebody, how would you describe it? They call it the city of gentle people. I'm not so sure. You the know? city of enchanted people? Of, uh, gentle people. Oh, gentle that, people. That, oh. That's how they call it. That's, okay. uh, but, you know, 
it, I would say it's for the Philippines a clean city. Okay. The traffic becomes more and more, that's the bad thing, and the driving, especially big cars, you know, that's the problem with the, with the tricycles. But it's a city with, I think, six universities, okay. with three hospitals. Uh, for me, important as a foreigner, many shops where you can buy things from Europe. Okay. Yes, in army or like like beef from US or beef from Brazil. So right. what's what I have because I need for my restaurant. You know, I yeah, offer yeah. mostly European food. So okay. and for me, Tomagete is almost the same size in Spokis, So I like small cities. I don't like big okay. Cities. I, I know they call it what? What is the school the capital of the Philippines? Because here they don't have helmet laws. And I tell you, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing a Filipino driving a scooter where air blown and all that stuff. It's very, very, yeah, very, yeah. very, 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 But very I think we have the helmet law nationwide, but, yeah, yeah. but they you know, here, the mayor yeah. don't care again. You know. It's okay. It's, I, yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there some place where they can find you on the internet where they can find Bogart if someone, if someone out there wants to? It's on TripAdvisor. Uh, I have a Facebook page. Okay. Bogart's Bar. Bogart's bar. Uh, yeah, uh, Lip Advisor. Yeah, that's it. I, I have no homepage. Okay, okay. Well, Andy, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I told him how I ended up here. It was because of you. When I first came here, I came to Bogart's, you know, because it was Americanized to me. And you, you directed me to a realtor, and a realtor, you know, I got me in a place where I'm at now. So, so everything happens for a reason. So I'm going to thank you for the time. We got a special thing going on with, with your staff tonight. So uh, let's get at that. Okay, so we'll be right back. Something? One, two, three. Welcome. Welcome back, everybody. This is Gerard. Stand with your under humming. Okay. This is Gerard, and we're at Bogart's, and the Chief Filipino Soul Magazine. So we want to make sure that you guys at least know what it says. I'm putting another one together. But right now, I want you to meet the staff at Bogart's. Tell everybody your name. Come on, come on. Mercy. Mercy? Fritzy. Sharon. Robin. So tell us about yourself. How many children do you have? How old are you? You got a boyfriend. Are you married? <laughs> Those are the important questions I ask for the What do you think? She first. Right. That's the first one. What would you do with 5,000 pesos? If you win. If you win. If you win. If you win. I'm done. Oh. 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 I guess that means good, right? Something good? How about you? Tell us your name. My name is Gracie. I'm the one that supports my family. I only have a father. section here and then it has the back section that where we just shot Andy at and she that's where you can mostly find her. Tell me about your name. Oh well, my name is Charlotte and if I win the five thousand pesos uh, I share it to everyone and of course I help my family. Will you buy me a red devil? Share share yes, the light. Buy me a red devil. Buy me a red devil. A red devil is, is, that, is that I'm going into the Philippines. When I was in the, in the States, when I drink, I usually wanted something cold, red, and strong. And the drink is called a red devil. And red devil is mixed with vodka, gin, rum, grenadine. It, it, it's good, it's good. You, know, <laughs> you, guys, you can't drink too many of them. But most of the time, yeah. strong. Okay, so, tell me your name. My name is Robin. This is Robin. Come close on Robin. Pardon? Tell us about yourself. 
I'm I am the owner of Bogars, but I have a good and nice stuff stuff here. And then I think I'm lucky that I'm included for the raffle of five thousand. <laughs> 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 it could be maybe I'm lucky or not. It's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so you guys ready? This is what we have for, yes. right? Yes. You ready? Yes, Come here. Give me a little one. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> this is, tell, tell everybody your name. My name is Michelle. I'm the, the owner of... Your daughter of... I am the owner of the owner, my mother, Robin. And the daughter of Andy, because Andy was just talking about her. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's get you involved. Now, I want to say something before this is drawn. That they all are going to get a chance to win 5,000 pesos because they're going to do this each month until they're finished. <laughs> Hopefully next month we'll have a performer. Um, and which reminds me, if you are a daily Showtime winner or uh, a Showtime uh, grand champion or who has appeared on Showtime, contact me at filipinosoulgerard at gmail.com and uh, there's a position waiting for you. Okay, sorry. B is, we go to schools and we, we talk to the children as well as perform. So uh, if you want the job, it's open. Preferably females because children are a lot more uh, receptive to them. Okay, are you ready? Am I taking a long, am I taking a long time? No. No, no, no. okay. <laughs> so we just sit, I just sit here and enjoy the company of four beautiful, five beautiful women and just shake this. Is that okay? Huh? Okay, no, I won't do that. See, here you go. Want to thank Joy on the camera? Okay. Never disrespect the elderly and always pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes, you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. Are we living good today? <laughs> yeah, so we're the better with 5,000 cases, right? <laughs> if you haven't got a dream, a goal, an idea, a train of thought, don't worry about it. Do what I used to do. Get as much as you can, as fast as you can, and go home. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Hollywood's formerly singing of the temptation, what's up? Treat her like a lady. Marcy, come here. You ready? And then it's Pop up. So remember, I'll talk to you later. I'll always love you more. 